you guys for this Halloween tutorial. I am a cat <laughs> and I did my hair myself. I didn't have cat ears or anything so it looks a bit messy but you get the general idea. And then for my eyes, basically I was inspired by a Dior fashion show. It was the fall winter 2008 look so a long time ago but basically they kind of do this look which I wouldn't recommend wearing on its own um, or any other time except for Halloween but for this look I think that it works because it makes it look a little bit cat like and it definitely brings your whole eye out and makes it look more oval shaped and it's still a dramatic look it's not just going with a typical smoky eye it's definitely different and eye catching and then of course so people can tell you are a cat not something else. Um, I did the cat makeup as well. So stay tuned to see how I do it. Start off by putting your white primer or then I'm using a NYX Jumbo pencil in white all over your eye area. And I mean all over. <laughs> Just like that and then do that to the other eye as well. So now that we're looking kind of like a creepy clown we're going to set it just with some white powdered shadow just over top. Then we're going to go in with our jumbo pencil in brown and I was hoping for one a bit darker but that's okay that's what it looks like. And you're going to kind of mimic the shape of your eye but in your crease and then wing it out to the side. Just like that, looking even weirder. So now you have your eyes looking like this. And then you're going to use your brown eyeshadow to go over the brown. I'm using CoverGirl in Brown Smolder. And I'm just using a pencil brush just because it has a nice tip to it. And then take it in just in the corner a bit as well. So you can see you're giving yourself an overdefined cat eye. And then you can go in just with a tiny little brush and just kind of touch up any areas where you kind of overshot on your brown. And then I'm going to add the white out here a bit too. And underneath. Then we're going to take black liquid liner and then just line the upper lash line. You're going to line your lower lashes as well. And then you want to take this in a bit, almost give yourself a cat eye internally. Just to give the appearance of a more oval eye shape. You want to wing it out just underneath the black or the brown. And then curl your lashes and put on your favorite mascara. So here you have your overly dramatic cat eye and I mean if you go out like this people may think you're ucker or you know something so we're gonna add more makeup to make us look more like a cat. So <laughs> You're going to grab just um, a soft eyeliner and then we're going to make our nose. So you kind of want to do a bit of a heart right here. And then you bring it down to the sides and then just color it in. So there you have your little nose, and then I'm going to zoom out again, and we're going to draw whiskers. Now if you want, you could put some of the white kind of all down here and around your mouth, but I'm very acne prone, so I don't really like putting kind of eyeshadow or cream eyeshadow on my face, not just my eyes, because I do break out a lot in that area. So I'm not going to, but you're welcome if you want more of a definite cat look, not just kind of eye makeup with some cat look features. But I'm going with the eyeliner. So again, just and 
and I'll put some There we go. Now for lips, you can either wear black lipstick and then you can almost put a line down here because um, that's how, I've, how their mouths look. I don't have black lipstick and again if you're wanting more just your eyes to be the look not you know your whole face painted then you just want to have a pale kind of almost a neutral look that isn't going to take away from the eyes. Uh, a little bit pink but yeah not a bright pink or a dark red or anything. So I'm just actually going to use a tinted lip balm and this is an Almé in blush and it's like that. And then just any kind of gloss over top again I don't want it too shiny I'm just using an elf one in baby lips. And it just adds a bit of shine without going overboard. Because cats don't really have shiny lips. Okay, so there we have the look. Um, once the rest of the face is in, kind of the eyes fit with it. And then for hair, now if you have kind of cat ears, then obviously just put your hair down or back or whatever and just put the cat ears. I don't, so I'm going to attempt to make cat ears with my hair. bobble there and then I'm just going to take sections of my hair and wrap it around it. have it minus the few flyaways obviously if you are gonna just make your cat ears yourself <laughs> instead of this then you'd put a bit more time in it and you'd have maybe straight hair not all frizzy like mine but that's okay or then I mean you can also just make cat ears out of construction paper and a hairband which will look a lot better than this but this is just kind of to help tie in the look without having actually any props to go with it so I hope you enjoyed it and have a great day